this uh, operation is certainly it's not not an everyday operation it's not an everyday operation for anyone um, in the country really and so it's it's something quite unique um, it's certainly the first time our company has done something to this uh, to this scale and uh, job to replace the uh, centre bearing on the Victoria Dock Bridge. And the Victoria Dock Bridge is a uh, swing bridge built in the 1960s to permit um, access to and from a, a dock here in Hobart. And so being a swing bridge it has a, a, a large centre bearing which permits it to uh, open and close to allow the ships to pass. Um, in the 40 and 50 years that that bridge has been in service that bearing's sort of identified itself as being needing replacing. And so we've been contracted by Tasports to uh, remove the bridge to permit that bearing to be replaced. And whilst the bearing's been replaced, the bridge will be painted and uh, refurbished before being returned back to, back to place. The project to replace this bearing is uh, a pretty significant project. The bridge itself weighs in the order of uh, 90 tonnes. And being at 90 tonnes, the bridge isn't able to be lifted out by a crane, which would be the more traditional way. Of... And we are about to pick it up about 1.5 or 1.6 metres into the sky, so fairly decent lift. The 90 odd tonnes that this bridge weighs is relatively, relatively small in the world of hydraulic jacks. And so we are employing two 50 tonne jacks and two 25 tonne jacks for a total of 150 tonnes of jacking force to lift this bridge. The jacks themselves are capable of lifting the bridge 100 millimetres at a time. And so what we're doing is we are incrementally lifting it in a, with a, a climbing jack type system, a climbing jack arrangement which involves us lifting the bridge up 70 millimetres, packing in 65 millimetres of, uh, of packing and uh, repeating that cycle. So the bridge has effectively been lifted one and a half metres, um, 65 millimetres at a time. So I like to empower everybody, if anybody sees anything that doesn't look quite right, if they see a bit of timber that's squashing that doesn't look like it should be squashing, or they see something rotating that doesn't look like it's rotating, or they see the bridge out of level, or they see anything that looks like it might not be right, I want you to stop the operation. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to call out stop, 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 right? And whenever anybody hears that, we stop. The jacking and sliding process of this bridge means that the bridge will be working in ways in which the bridge wasn't designed to work. So the bridge will be will be spanning the full 25 metres that the bridge is long, as opposed to resting on the centre pier. Once the bridge is raised up to height, we will install a, a centre centre crosshead or a centre pivot point at the at the original location of the centre pier, and this will be where we're able to seesaw the bridge effectively. So the bridge will be pivoted about this point and be balanced at this point. Uh, at this point we'll connect two smaller cranes, two mobile you know, cranes that are able to drive and carry at the same time. We'll connect those to the end of the bridge and transfer the weight to those and they will, will drive backwards, um, effectively you know, walking the bridge backwards and the bridge will, will skate back on the centre, the centre pivot or the centre rollers.
the sliding of this bridge and the, and the lifting of this bridge has been subject to some pretty pretty intense engineering calculations to confirm that it's it's structurally capable and uh, adequate of undertaking the, the work that we're doing. Um, you know, so through the through the process that involved you know re-looking at original drawings and looking at the, the structure in site, um, making some allowance for some of the corrosion and deterioration that's been allowed that's, that's happened on the bridge to date, and uh, confirming that it's suitable for for skidding. This uh, operation is certainly, it's not, not an everyday operation, it's not an everyday operation for anyone. So it's, it's new to everybody and you know, I'm pretty proud of the team that I have here that uh, have, have all pulled together and uh, made this happen, you know, both in the preparation and on site.